I have created a series of videos on the test preparation for the GRE quantitative reasoning. So in this video also helps us to understand some of uh, the sample questions given in the quantitative reasoning test for GRE. Let's see the solutions. The question here is about an upright pole 12 feet tall casting a shadow of 8 feet long. So 12 feet is the um, upright pole's height and 8 feet is the shadow. At the same time, a nearby up pole is casting a shadow of 10 feet long. So we do not know what is the height. So since these two are similar triangles, I can make use of the similar triangle properties. X on 10 will be 12 by 8. From this, I can easily solve for X. X will be 50. So the height of this pole must be 15. The answer is D. If A is the smallest prime number greater than 21 and B is the largest prime number less than 16, then we need to find the product AB. We know that the prime numbers are numbers which are divisible by 1 and itself. It is divisible only by itself and 1. So one, we know that 1 is not prime. So we start with 2, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, etc. These are all the prime numbers. These are few of the things in the, from the beginning. So if I'm trying to find A, which is the smallest prime number greater than 21, that is 23. B is the largest prime number less than 16. So it should be 13 and the product AB will be 299 and hence the answer is A. The total amount of duties waterable for the last quarter of the year is $40.50. The bill consists of fixed charge of $13.50 plus a charge of 0 0.0075 per gallon. So there is a fixed cost of 13.5 and for each gallon used, they are charging 0 0.0075 and the total cost is 40.50. So if we had a fixed cost and the variable cost. So if X represents the number of gallons utilized, then 13.50, which is the initial fixed cost, plus the amount for the um, uh, gallons of x gallons of water will be x times 0 0.0075. That must be the total 4050. So you can solve for x and your x is 3600. So your answer is 3600 gallons of water. We have two lists, list R and S. We are trying to find the median of R and the median of S. Once when you get the median of R and median of S, the question is, we have to find the me how the median of uh, the list R is greater than the median of the numbers in list S. So first of all, the median is nothing but the middle term. Before finding the middle term, we have to sort them out, and then we have to pick the middle term. Median is always the middle term after sorting them out. So let us sort those list R as well as S according to the ascending or descending order. I have sorted them out according to the ascending order. So for, for list R, the middle term is 27 and for list S, the middle term is 19 and the difference between those two is 8 and hence the answer is A. We have a diagram given, a graph given here, a bar graph. Now using the bar graph, we have to answer this question. The question is, the two corporate sectors that increase their support for arts from 1988 to 1991 made 
a total contribution in 1991 of, of approximately how many million dollars? And we have to give the answer nearest to 10 million dollars. So we have to find the total amount here. The finance is the maximum and the difference is 21 percentage. For the service, again it has increased and the amount is 22 minus 17, 5 percentage. And these things are all out of 520 million. So when you calculate this out of 520 million, you get that as 135.2 million. Since you have to give the correction to 10 million dollars, your answer is 13.52, or we can even say 14, 10 million dollars. We have the same diagram here. And for this question, how many of the six corporate sectors listed each contributed more than 60 million to the arts in both 1988 and 1991? How many six corporate sectors listed contributes more than 60 million to the arts in both? When we calculate for 1988, we have the total is 60 times 100 divided by 952. And for 1991, the contribution is 60 out of 100 divided by 520 because the total for 1991 is 520. So if since we want to get more than um, 60 million, we have to look for values greater than 9.52 for 1988 and greater than 11.54 for 1991. So we can see services falls under this category, manufacturing falls under the category, other also falls under this category. So there are three which falls under this list where we each contributed is more than 60 million. So we are trying to find what 60 million is for 1988 and 1991. One is 9.52, the other one is 11.54. We are looking for values greater than that. So we have services, manufacturing and other. So this video helped us to understand how to get the solution for some of the questions we saw in the quantitative reasoning test. And this was quick and easy. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening.